All right, I guess we better get back outside. Yeah. I like the orange one better. <laughs> Do you want to go in Home Depot? Do you want to go? <laughs> okay, let's get your leash. Go get your leash. He likes Home Depot. <laughs> So we need four by fours for the legs and the you know the corners of the bed. So we're getting these guys right here. Four by four by twelve. It's a little extra long, but these seem to be the cleanest ones and the straightest ones that they've got. We're gonna have way extra, but maybe it'll be firewood. Slim pickings on the twelve foot two by sixes. Well, they only had one. 12 footer so we're just getting regular studs and uh we'll just have a little bit extra extra i'm feeling like it's time to get up off the ground because <laughs> the spiders are coming in and it's really distracting at night trying to sleep when you're thinking that there's spiders going to crawl up over your face that's right being up off of the ground will just help the spiders go under the bed instead of on top, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's how spiders think. Don't you think that's how spiders think? Probably. At exactly. least the spiders in our house. Yeah, exactly yeah, as sure. I'm thinking. They're They'll not going to go on the bed. Save them up for when Sarah gets home. <laughs> Let's go see how much the OSB is just for fun. Well, $18.68. We got kind of a longish load today, so we're putting the putting the red flag on the back just to keep it safe. The rain's coming down. We're gonna have to move this project to the front porch. This is why you're supposed to wear gloves. I always forget. Got a big old nasty gash. <laughs> I shouldn't say that everyone needs to wear gloves because Marty does just fine without gloves. Maybe your hands are just a little tougher, huh? Maybe. Or his uh, pain tolerance is a lot higher. Wow, kitties. That's a good spot for you. First thing we need to do is Cut the post to length and I've got our measurements right here. We're basically just going to copy the beds that we built already. I need two that are 44 inches and two that are 22 and a half inches. Those will be our four posts for the bed. Look out, Kenny. Just make sure we're on here. It's good. And good. We're good. We're all squared up. Saw's cutting true. So that's nice. Go ahead and trim this end off the factory end here. Get it down to our precise measurement. Oh, look out there, buddy. All right. You gotta get down, okay? Oh. <laughs> Same, same. We got a little double decker bed going on over here. <laughs> this guy goes this way. And this guy goes this way. We're gonna have something that goes right there. 
Okay. We came inside to do a little bit of figuring just to make sure we get it right, you know, because the rails go on there kind of like that. And so you have some extra space, inches on each side and stuff. We didn't want it to be too tight. The beds we made for upstairs were a little too tight. You had to like really squish that mattress in there. So this one we're gonna add an inch of width and we're gonna add an inch of length so that the mattress will fit down in there. Super nice. So it's gonna be 59 inches wide and 79 inches long. Which will give us a total inside size of 81 by 61. All right, I guess we better get back outside. Yeah. I like the orange one better. <laughs> 59, 79. Ooh, look at that. So nice. 59, 79, 59, 79. Don't forget guys, okay? Don't forget, 59, 79. So I'm thinking about making the headboard a little bit different than we did on the beds up in the apartment. We're gonna be using these guys right here. These are one by sixes and have a little bit of a gap in between them for the headboard instead of just a solid headboard. Maybe, we'll figure it out as we go, but that's the plan in my head right now. We got one of the cross pieces or the long supports here. Two by fours go across this way, setting on, on this piece here to uh, hold up the mattress. So the next step then, do the other side of the course, and we got to drill some pocket holes. I think the pocket screws. Anyway, some holes will go in here so it can mount to the post. We've got our pocket screw jig here. We're going to go ahead and drill our holes for our screws so that we can mount it all together. Came inside because the floor is nice and smooth and flat and clean, and then we can assemble the headboard in here nicely. We gotta put some glue on it first. Hopefully we don't get glue on the floor. Make my heart race in a hurry, lose my every worry, every second I'm with you. Yeah, look at that. This one goes on first, and the prettiest ones go on the top, because that's the part you're gonna see. So we want the cool knots on top. And then this one, we already got that, Jules got the glue on there. And then this one, yep. Okay, and then this one. Put our clamps on. One eternity later. Check it out. We've got the headboard built. We've got the foot built. We got the rails built right there. We're letting the glue dry and then we'll sand them down, stain them, verify them. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the homestead. It is a bright and beautiful day here. It's not bright. It's actually a rainy day. It's been rainy yesterday. It's gonna be rainy today. We didn't make hardly any power yesterday and we're not gonna make hardly any power today either. But that is not gonna stop us. We're gonna continue on with our bed project and Jules is actually gonna start all of the sanding. This is the first piece we're gonna we're gonna do, man. Check it out. I know I showed you to you earlier, but and that came out nice, huh? What do you think, Jules? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Really cool. Beautiful. I love all the knots. Yeah. All right. So I'll lay this down here, and then we'll get we'll get the sanding. We're gonna use 100 grit on our sanding project today. Are you ready? Let's try it. Ooh, wow! What is that? <laughs> You might have noticed that we've been using our EcoFlow solar generators to do this project. Some of you guys have wrote in and said that you'd like to have one, but you just feel like they're just too expensive and we can totally understand that. Right now, EcoFlow is having a sale on their inventory up to 52% off. 
might be a good opportunity for you to go over there and get one. Like Jill said, we are using our solar generators for this project because it has been so cloudy and rainy that we don't want to use our house batteries to power our project. This is actually the Delta 2 Max with the extra battery on top. Just the bottom unit alone, which is actually where the power comes from, is 2,048 watt hours of power. When you add this battery on top of it, you get an extra 2,048 watt hours of power. And then you can add a third one on top of here, which we don't have, but that'll give you over 6,000 watt hours of power. And so you've seen us using this thing like cutting, sanding, all of that for this project, no problem at all. This guy puts out a lot of power and is able to run pretty much all of our all of our tools that we need to use for a project like this. But not only is it awesome for projects, you know, winter is coming. I mean, like we want snow and we want a lot of snow. We want snow from here all the way down to the ground. I'd like to see six feet on the flat, preferably eight, but I'll settle for six. You know what comes with winter weather though? Mm power outages. Now that's not a real problem for people that live off grid like us, but they are predicting some pretty severe weather out on the East Coast. <sighs> power outages, man. In Texas, man, when that thing iced over a couple years ago, the power was out for a super long time. And we want to keep our refrigerators running. We want to keep our freezers running. We like to keep our house warm, things like that. Well guys, with a solar generator like this EcoFlow here, Right, you can do that. I mean, you can you can plug your refrigerator into it and run it for an extended period of time. Or if you have like a propane furnace, right, but you need the power to run the fan and blow it throughout your house, you could plug your furnace into this unit and it will run like it's supposed to and heat up your house. Guys, it is it is super important to have backup power when the power goes out, especially in these days, right? I mean, everything that we run is like electronic and electric and all of that. And, and it's really hard to survive when you live in the city or in the suburbs, right? And you don't have all of the off-grid appliances, the off-grid lighting sources, right? All of that kind of stuff to keep you going. You need a backup power solution. And one of the things that I really like about this unit for a backup power is how fast you can actually charge it. It has two solar inputs on it so you can charge it with up to a thousand watts of solar or you can charge it off of the wall of course when you have power but it can go from zero to 80 percent in like 43 minutes that is really fast like jules said they are having this super fall sale guys you can get up to 52 percent off one of their units and solar panels and all of that kind of cool stuff. There is a link in the description below. There is also a special code that you need to use down below to get an extra 5% off. Check out the link down below. And if one of these is what you need, well then you can get it super cheap right now. Oh, check it out. First fire of the season, Jules. It feels so good. <laughs> This is a little bit risky, but it's way warmer in here than it is outside. So we're gonna do all the staining and verithaining inside our beautiful home. I don't know what we're thinking, Marty. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna lay this down though to protect the floor and then try not to splatter. Although I am a super messy painter. But I think we can do it. Check this out too, man. Oh, look at that. 56 outdoors and 69 in here. It's going good. Nice. Oh, Marty, I think you did a really nice job. Thank you. Yeah, it feels super, super smooth. Let's see if we can get the foot and the headboard right here without having to lay down another one. Okay. Another piece of paper. Well, we've got Jacobian to the rescue again. This is like my favorite stain. Not like, it is my favorite stain. This is what we've used on all of our doors, 
all of our trim, all of our baseboard throughout the whole house. And I love how it turns out. So we're gonna do our bed frame just the same. I think this was an experiment failed. <laughs> we ran out of regular sponges, so we thought we'd try the kitchen sponge, but ooh, that it makes a huge, huge mess. So I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Look at that and these. We've got them all stained up now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and barathane them so that it can dry. It's been a couple hours past. But uh, barathane them up, and then we can start putting this in together and we'll show you how it's gonna be all set up in the bedroom. Are you ready to sleep off of the floor? Oh man, I am looking forward to not having the spiders crawl across my face. I'm sure that's what they're doing every night. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, you trust you me doing? a lot. Yeah. Drink it. <laughs> you ready to start birthday, Annie? Yeah, let's do it. All right, you do the big one, I'll do the small ones. Okay. We've been stuck in overdrive. Tired of the sleepless nights. I don't know where I would be without you. Without you. Racing through the busy... A couple hours later... And uh, we've just been hanging out, talking about the future and making plans and all that kind of fun stuff you get to do when you're waiting for everything to dry. But we got the uh, headboard here, take it in the bedroom. Hopefully it fits, you know? It's not a giant room. What do you think? Think it's gonna fit? Yeah, I think we should just double check that the feet aren't wet. Okay, you do, yeah, you do that. Towel. It's getting heavy. And here, I'm gonna use this. Okay. Just so we don't have stain. Mm, it's turning it colors. Turn it colors. Okay. Maybe let's set it down here in the hallway and then get a piece of cardboard put underneath each one for now. Yeah. Okay. Cut like a cardboard square. Or like a newspaper? Yeah. Okay. I thought we just put a newspaper down for now. Okay. We don't want to stain our carpet. True. <laughs> All right. So I'll carry this in and you, Lay you it do, down. The, do the deal. Okay. Joseph's. Giving us our, our newspaper coasters here for temporary. <laughs> Such a good wife. That's right. <laughs> so who resourceful. Who doesn't want newspaper coasters? Yeah, I could probably sell them. <laughs> okay, off we're ready. Okay, let's do it. So this will be the test to see how much space we got. Mm -hmm. Okay, want to go ahead and put one down right here? Okay. Okay, down over here. Just going to set it down and move. Okay. All right, go on. Doesn't look much bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Not too much though. Doesn't feel a whole lot bigger. Mm -hmm. It's a queen size. <laughs> so it's probably gonna go right about here-ish. Okay. Okay. You hold that guy. Cut. Cut. You like it? Very good bit. Yeah, you do that one, and I'll hold this one. That's good so far. Yeah. All right, we've got our corner here. We just need to make sure that we find the center here and line up the centers. And then we can put our screws in. It's good, it is bigger than our, I mean our, our old bed was a full, and this is gonna be a queen. So, it's definitely bigger. A Little bit extra room, storage space underneath. I really wanted it this height actually, because we use those plastic totes, like that you get at any store, Walmart or Target or whatever, and that you can actually slide under this the bed. So this is a good height for that, so it's perfect. All right, so three and a half inches wide. So we're going one and three quarter to the center of this. We got this side all locked in now. Time to do this side. Same process, of course. One and three quarter inches to the center. Right there. All right. When I told my mom that we were making a bed frame, she, you know what she said? What'd she say? 
She said, we're too young for such modern conveniences. <laughs> uh, we're gonna cut all of the slats that go in here now to hold the mattress up in the middle. And we're cutting them at mm, 61 inches. We have half an inch extra on each side of the mattress. So we got 61 inches in between because the queen size bed is 60 inches. So go cut all those guys. We're gonna put OSB down on there to make like a platform. We got Seth in to help put our mattress on. And uh, this is actually a full mattress. We haven't picked out our queen size mattress yet. So we're gonna make it work for a little while. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, it's gonna be bigger, man. Oh, good. My feet aren't going to hang off the edges far anymore. Or your arms, maybe. Maybe my arms, yeah. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of extra room on each side. That's so cool. We're going to go ahead and order up a queen-size mattress. If you have one that you, like, really like, you've had it for a few years now, let us know down in the comments below because it's going to be probably a couple weeks until we order it. And, guys... You know that we're into preparedness. We prepared a preparedness checklist for you. There is a QR code on the screen right over there that you can go ahead and scan with your smartphone or there's a link down in the description below. You can download it, print it out, stick it on your fridge. It's completely free and will help you get prepared for any trouble that's coming down the road. We hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.